Hello again guys and welcome back to my channel. I just want to do a quick video today in which I'm showing you how to abuse the safe slash checkpoints in the hell point to your advantage in order to farm stronger enemies on early level. This is uh, what I'm demonstrating right now is immediately after fighting the first boss. This was the first boss uh, right now. There is, uh, of course, the safe checkpoint after it, and you can use um, that checkpoints to uh, aggro enemies near it and then kill them without uh, much risk. I'm going to show that uh, to you right now. So uh, here is the Phantom, or I, I don't know how they are called in this game. This game has a tons of uh, technical issues. But it's still fun to play and uh, we have uh, that ghost, that phantom that spawns after you die and he's trying to chase you and uh, kill you, you can uh, fight him off. And uh, I aggroed here that ghost alongside uh, this very strong knight. These knights in this area are very strong and are not very easy to deal with. By the way, I'm using here a weapon that... Uh, I didn't have the starts for, but I didn't notice that before I record the video, so sorry about that, but the tactics still apply. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing here. By the way, the ghost always uh, mimics the uh, equipment and the weapon that you had uh, right after you died, so as you can see, the enemies are chasing you, there is no like a limitation to the aggro positions, they chase you no matter where you go, they can either uh, chase you throughout the lever or they can chase you even in an elevator, so please be aware of that. But uh, here is uh, the deal, you can go back to the checkpoint and uh, restore your health, you don't uh, restore your quote unquote uh, health flasks here. But uh, you can restore your health and you are invincible while you are uh, interacting with the checkpoint. So you can, like I said, you can aggro them here and you can kill them while dancing around the checkpoint, uh, like healing up at it and uh, do damage to the opponents, okay? Uh, here you can have, uh, depending on the stats and what you decide to level up, you don't have that strong of uh, weapons or like armor and stuff like that, but you can still use the one of the initial weapons, the pipe, to dispatch of these enemies uh, far quicker than what I'm doing right now. But the tactics work for sure, look how much damage I take on a regular basis with uh, fighting these two and I'll just go back to the checkpoint interact with it and be safe immediately okay just be aware when to like uh, release the the target from the opponents you if you are a veteran souls player you'll be able to do that relatively easily like I said this uh, game has quite a lot of problems in the technical field but uh, it's still fun i like the atmosphere a lot it reminds me of uh, another souls like uh, game with the sci-fi settings called immortal unchained from a couple years ago but uh, yeah this is a cool little trick and uh, you can use that to farm these knights in the first area and probably farm stronger opponents in some of the later areas in the game. So I wanted to show you that. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. And in the next video I will probably show you some sets and matches in uh, Soul Calibur 6 or show you West of Death on PS4 which is a brand new game that came out today in uh, Europe. And uh, in the future I'll have at least one more video on the subject on uh, help points, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!